Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be continuing our Sims series as you can see maybe from the window that it does look maybe slightly different. Also you can see that all of the contenders are in the centre because they're already ready to begin their game but we won't be getting onto that first. We're going to be going through all of the new rooms and I'll be showing you the redecorations because there's now only eight sims left so each sim that is in their own room can now be decorated as there's going to be no new sims coming in meaning each room can now be tatered to that sim so I definitely want you in the comments to rate each room and let me know your favorite room and your least favorite in the comments below but without further ado let's get on with the tour so here we go into the front door. We do have this that has been framed. It's just one of the artworks from one of the previous challenges that I just wanted to keep, but I didn't like it. Um, but yes, as we enter the red room, you can now see that the floor does have a nice pink undertone to it now with a bunch of different ones. I thought this just livened it up. Also, as you can see, it might look a lot brighter now. And that is because I'm using these lights which are much different and much brighter and just help livening up the place a lot now. And I'm really, really pleased with them. And I'm so happy that these lights just bring so much joy. Got one of these nice little frames here. A lot of, most things have now been framed. I don't think I framed everything, but I think I framed most things. And here we go into the kitchen. Just a lot of different artworks, a lot of stuff from different challenges, from nice, nice little memories. We've got some fruits here, microwave, a nice luxury teapot set, some coffee, because I do know that lots of Sims do love to drink their coffee. And just a lot of different artworks from Luke and Matthew as well. Just all around. <laughs> what is this though? I've never seen this artwork before and now this is just like very weird. I don't know why this is there. Oh that's gonna bring nightmares. But yes just a bunch of different stuff. It's well decorated now but definitely let me know in the comments below as well decorations that I could add to either one of the main rooms or one of the rooms that we'll be getting into now. This is Luke's room. Let me know your thoughts on the room. I really do like it. I like the colour scheme. It's kind of tealy with some, um, I guess, white walls. It's more like a light blue kind of carpet as well as a black decor and a lot of artworks of their own as well. We've got their own portrait up here. I want to do that for each of the sims just so that you can kind of tell whose rooms it is as well and it just kind of adds nice. In the bathrooms now you can see that I'm using one of the great lights now so it's a lot easier to see. There's no dark spots but I've kept the bathrooms pretty much all the same because I didn't really feel like they needed decorating because all you're going to do is your business in there aren't you? And this is Matthew's room. Very red. It is very red. I forgot to frame these. I'll need to do that. But yes, a lot of their own artworks is here. Also, I've decided to add little stickers on the wall because it just looks so adorable. Like, look at all of that. It's so adorable and I love it. And then I've got like this to put all of their clothes in. But yeah, just... It looks nice. Let me know stuff that I could add in these rooms though because I definitely want to do so. It could just get more decorated as the final episodes are, are coming along. But there will be someone being eliminated in this episode. So one of these rooms that I've just decorated will be no more by the end of today. Which is quite scary. It is quite scary. But moving on. Here we have the blue room and just look how much brighter it is now. I can't believe how much the lights just change things. Also, I've made the walls a lot brighter as well as in the kitchen, as well as the floor. Like the carpet now also looks a lot brighter and these lights are just a godsend. Like they've just been helping so much. I do see that there's a lot of stuff going wrong in this blue room. I definitely need to check it up on. I have been leaving it on for quite some time, by the way, while I'm just going about doing doing chores in my house, like my real life has, because I just wanted to um, see how my sims would be getting along, because I want to make sure that they're bonding with each other, so I have just been leaving it on, so I guess there's been a lot of stuff that has now been damaged, um, but a lot of artworks up here, still got the urn, I'm never going to let that go, like that's just a potent part in this series, I've got their matching microwave and coffee maker as well, yeah it just looks very nice, and um, this place is it looks a bit, bit ruined there. I've put some plants in this room because I felt like the blue room could really be doing stuff with floral. But yes, moving on to Sansa's room. 
But here is Sansa's room. Let me know your thoughts. I really like it. It definitely does feel like Sansa's room. I feel like this is definitely something that she would love. And yeah, this is by far probably one of my favourite rooms, I do think. Like, I just think it looks so cosy, so nice. I love these artworks together. She's not much of a painter, so I have had to put these here because she doesn't actually paint on her own. She's she's more of a gamer. She's more of a gamer. She loves her games, so she doesn't really do a lot of artworks. I love these, though. I love the floralness in this room as well. As well as the bed. It just looks so nice and so cosy. It's a lot better from what the rooms were originally are, because now I can tater them to each sim as... This is what they deserve for being in the final eight. Moving on to Erwin's room. As you can see, it's a lot different from all of the other rooms. It's definitely a lot more colourful and more out there. The reason for that being is because I was looking at all of their outfits and just deciding what best taters to that sim. And they do love wearing a lot of like purple, magenta and teal. So it's very teal and purple right now and I do think it works very well and I love these kind of like plants by the way. I've been putting them in pretty much all of the rooms because they just add so much to the room and yeah I thought that's I thought that mirror was very nice as well with the plant. It just looks so nice and I'm very happy with this room although there's not a lot going on this side of the room so definitely let me know what things I could add into this room and make sure you are rating all of these in the comments because I would love to know your thoughts on each room as well. Now before we head into this yellow room I would just like to know that this is probably the one that's changed the most because remember what the yellow room used to look like? It was, I didn't really like it to be honest. It looked so dull and disgusting but now Look how bright and vivid it is now. I hope you all like this yellow room. It just brings so much joy now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this um painting is meant to be realism. I hovered over it and it says that this painting is realism. This doesn't look real at all. I'm sorry, this was Scarlet that painted it as well, hence the background, I guess. But this is not realism, I'm sorry, girl, but your art is not, it's not great, is it? But yeah, look how bright this room is now, all due to the lights. Oh, their bins are overflowing. I really need to get onto these rooms as well. Everything seems to be breaking. Um, but yeah, I got this llama painting that I did keep. I think it was Matthew that actually painted it, but I've kept them. Kept the crystals as well. I put the coffee maker there because there was too much room over there and I felt like it looked nice here. Although they are going to have to stand over that trash right now. And I've managed to put in a fireplace because I remember they didn't actually have a fireplace. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, there's no like dark corners in this room. It's so bright and colourful. It just brings so much joy. Over here we've got Scarlet's room. It is more of a basic room. There's not a lot going on. I would definitely love more paintings and stuff to go on the walls. Maybe I could bring over that realism painting to be honest because I don't really like this out there. Um, Yes, I'd probably add a, maybe even a mirror. So if you survive this challenge, Scarlet, I'm definitely going to be making sure to upgrade each room every day episode I'll try my best to and um, because each room they'll just get more and more and more because I feel like that I would love that and that's what they deserve for keep going on with all of these challenges proud of them all but yeah obviously all of these rooms just look so much more cozy now because they wear all is just like white bed white furniture and white walls and a white floor this just makes it so much more homely and they can really just enjoy their final days here over here we've got one of my favourite rooms I think and this is Seb's room. I went for a very brown decor. I did change a lot with the walls like I went for a like brighter wood almost kind of like a brighter brown. Kind of like how this furniture looks but then I've kind of changed it to a darker brown because I feel like that just helped make it pop a lot more. Got a nice little corner table there with some plants on it. Once again I've used these kind of plants just to kind of bring a more colour into the room as well. But yeah Seb's room do really like it as well. A lot of stuff we can add on the walls again as well. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on all of these rooms as well. Moving on to the green room. Look how bright and colourful it is now. And look at this kitchen. I'm obsessed with this kitchen. I love it so much. It just looks very nature-esque. It's just really, really good. I've put these into it as well. I wanted to make sure to add things that 
just bring life to the place so it doesn't look very basic. I've added a lot more other stuff like I've added cakes here just some like refreshments like oranges and stuff like that. A fruit bowl and then I've also added a loaf there that's um, not edible but it's just for decor. It looks very weird but yeah got their microwave as well as their coffee maker and yeah it just looks so much more livable and it's just it looks alive not much on these walls though so I could definitely add stuff because it does look like if I'm looking at it from this way there's not a lot going on there's just the essentials that's in every other room so I could definitely add stuff here I would love to do it so it looks more homely and I can't wait to do that but you just need to make sure that you are getting on with the challenges over here is Phoenix's room as you can see it's very pink because I feel like in these this green room Nina and Phoenix they're very girly girls so definitely felt like that this was the room that they would love to be in I really love these suitcases though because it really just shows that like it's almost like they walked into the villa with these suitcases and placed them there and have like um, unpacked and put their things in there like it just looks really nice it's very well decorated this is a really really nice room over here we have Nina's room and as you can see it is more of a pastel pink compared to the other room that was very very pink I do prefer this room a lot because it just looks more subtle and I really just love it. it really gives like a nice innocent atmosphere a lot to do with nature in this room as well so it really does help to give a tranquil atmosphere and I have not got their portrait because it was actually Tabby that had their portrait painted and then Tabby was eliminated and then we went into the redemption and Nina returned and doesn't have a portrait so I might actually paint a portrait of Nina just so that we do have her there so she's not feeling like left out but definitely let me know your thoughts on this room as well it looks really nice and so cozy and a lot has been added to this room as well I do like it a lot and it's definitely better from what the standards were for each room as well here is the moment you've all been waiting for the challenge everybody does look a bit scared they look angry they look on their phones <laughs> look at Sansa oh she's always just been such a sad girl isn't she as you can see they're all in their formal attire they're all ready because they're in the final eight they deserve this little chit chat with everybody and I felt like this would just be a great way to share their experiences with each other but as you can see that this is not just going to be just like a little chit chat this is indeed a challenge and in this challenge everyone's going to be set down and the first person to stand up would be eliminated and I do know some sims just randomly just stand up straight away so I don't know how long this challenge is going to last Um, it could last forever and it could just last um, two seconds we never know but yes I've put them all in their formal attire because I just felt like this was very needed because they're all in the final eight. They deserve this and they could all share their experiences and how they've got here today. And I just thought this was really nice to get to know the final eight more as well. So without further ado, I'm very scared. <laughs> Let the challenge commence. Me. Me. Uh -huh. A lot of people are on their phone. I guess that is a good tactic. Just to, I guess, they're at least they're doing something. They're not going to be sitting up. That's exactly what we want. It is exactly... Seb. No. Oh my gosh, we, we, we've only just started. What are you doing? No, why? No. Why have you done that? Why have you just did that, Seb? We were having a good, nice conversation. We hardly, we hardly have begun. Oh no. I really liked your room as well. Oh, you're not going to just sit back there. Oh. No, Seb, you can't do that. That's not how this works. I'm going to speed it up to see who would have actually got eliminated after Seb, if it wasn't Seb. Oh, Seb, why have you done that? Two hours later. So Seb really just made a big error, didn't they? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Yeah, so that is going to be the end of today's episode. Poor Seb has now just been eliminated. They were doing so well. Why did you decide to get up to do that? You shouldn't have done that. Oh, Erwin got up. Ooh, and back down. Why is people getting up just to go back down? Do you not know the challenge? You're meant to stay down. Oh, Seb did get back up again. Oh, Seb. Just to do more workouts, it looks like. It's because your one of your traits are fitness. They can't. They always love doing their workouts. If they're not doing working out, doesn't do well for them. 
And now everyone's crying. <laughs> but thank you everybody for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like as it definitely does help out with the series as well. Definitely let me know in the comments each room. You need to rate each room. Say like their name. So if it was Luke, write Luke. And then what is that out of 10? And then do the same for each uh, individual character. Because I would love to know your thoughts on each of the rooms and how you think of them as well but thank you everybody for watching also if you are new to channel and you're not yet subscribed and um, make sure to do so especially if you have enjoyed this episode because we're now down to the final eight people well we're now down to the final seven <laughs> but thank you everybody for watching and i'll see you in the next video but bye everybody bye